All right, coming up on the show on October 17th, marijuana will be legal. It will be sold for recreational use right across the country. And now all the provinces and territories are figuring out how to sell it. Is it ethical to make it attractive to buy, to brand it, to market it? We'll talk about that next. Sitting in for Evan, it's Christy Cameron on The Evan Solomon Show. Well, we are getting closer and closer to the day that marijuana will be recreationally legal in this country. Are you planning to light up a joint in celebration or are you going to stay away from the stores where pot will be available? You can text me at 71010. But what I really want to know is what you think about the marketing. Because Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation recently unveiled the designs of what its cannabis stores are going to look like. And boy, oh boy. Whether or not you agree with marijuana legalization, you can agree they're pretty sleek looking. In fact, one of my producers, Donnie, said they kind of look like an Apple store. You know, you walk in, everything is bright and shiny, modern, sleek. The business is done on iPads. Everything looks properly organized and categorized, easy to find. And, you know, it's kind of very modern. It reminds me of the Apple store, but it also reminds me of the way that we market alcohol because it divides the products into different categories. And the categories go like this, relax, unwind, center, and enhance. They say that all the different products have different purposes. And so that's how they divvy them up with signage like that. But one critic is speaking out about this because he says not only does this glamorize and normalize marijuana, but he says it goes against the federal rules when it comes to marketing cannabis. Joining us now, Dr. Simon Sherry, a psychologist and professor at Dalhousie University. Why don't you like the way these stores are going to be laid out? First of all, that signage is clearly misleading. It is definitely the case that cannabis can result in some favorable short-term effects, but that's not true for all the people all the time. Your response to cannabis can vary based on your size, what other substances you're combining it with, and a host of other factors. Beyond that, once you enter a state of cannabis intoxication, there's potentially a lot more going on than enhancing or unwinding. You can have impaired concentration. You can have difficulty with motor behaviors. You can have panic, anxiety. You can see or hear things that others would not. You can experience a racing heart or lowered blood pressure. So through the NSLC, Nova Scotians are clearly being misled. They're getting a partial and incomplete understanding and picture of the impact of cannabis. Okay, but I, you know, I guess I wonder, you know, you're saying there are long-term impacts, that it's not all sunshine and rainbows and relaxing and unwinding and centering and enhancing, and I get that, but what is wrong with, that, with breaking the products up that way? It's clear signage explaining what they do, and... You know, this is about branding after all, isn't it? If we're making it legal, isn't the idea that people will buy it? To me, it's not a question of branding or marketing. This is a question of public health. And what this particular approach to branding is doing is glamorizing the use of cannabis. It's associating the use of cannabis with relief and leisure and relaxation. And that is very appealing. As you'll know from your own radio station, advertising works. And if you brand something in a particular way and you repeatedly expose people to it, it becomes more appealing to them. Now, we have clear evidence of this in the past in Canada, when in the 1950s and 1960s, Canadians were exposed to particular types of ads around cigarettes. And those ads did the same sort of thing. They associated cigarettes with glamour and relief and recreation. 
Unfortunately, in 2018, we see the NSLC and the Nova Scotia government doing the same sort of thing with cannabis. Yeah, I, I mean, I look at the Liquor Control Board of Ontario right now, and I look at its website. I've got it up in front of me, and the marketing is kind of similar. They've got hashtag Let's Cocktail, another area that says products of the world, discover something new and inspiring. It uses the word inspiring. Uh, it, it's marketing, and I'm looking at right now the place that sells alcohol in Nova Scotia, the Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation, and it has branding like that too. On its website right now, it says, discover your tastes, and this is how we summer. I, I guess I just wonder how this is any different than the, how many provinces are already selling alcohol. Of course, a place like Nova Scotia already has a number of serious problems with alcohol. For example, among all provinces, we are second in the number of alcohol-related hospitalizations. Binge drinking is a common problem in this province as well. And it seems like there are an awful lot of individuals, when we look at the epidemia of Nova Scotia, who have some sort of alcohol use disorder. Now, clearly, that's not owing entirely to advertising or the actions of the NSLC, But it may very well be the case that those types of advertisements are also having an influence on the drinking of Nova Scotians and people in other provinces. So what would you say? You'd like that advertising to stop with alcohol as well because it's glamorizing alcohol too? I would say that I'm here today to make a point more about cannabis. But if you were to look across Canada, you would see various ways in which Canadians are encouraged to use substances in a way that seems irresponsible. If you think that Nova Scotia's cannabis retailer is violating federal regulations by glamorizing and normalizing marijuana, what would you rather see it do? I believe that Nova Scotians face a personal choice here, and I believe that most Nova Scotians and most Canadians favor legalization. But I think they voted for the legalization of their product, not the glamorization of cannabis. I will also say that it's very possible to present Nova Scotians with balanced information about cannabis with which they can make their own informed choice. We can present people with factual, actual, evidence-based information on cannabis What the NSLC is doing is putting front and center the favorable, potential favorable outcomes associated with cannabis. And I think really what underlies this behavior is that the NSLC has adopted a branding and marketing approach that pays little or no attention to public health concerns. Professor, thank you for your time today. Thank you for having me on your show. Dr. Simon Sherry, a psychologist and professor at Dalhousie University, he says the way that Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation is marketing is against the federal regulations because he says they're glamorizing marijuana. The way that they put them into those different categories, relax, unwind, center, and enhance, he says that normalizes marijuana. And that's not all of the things that those different types of cannabis will do. He says there are, you know, downsides to marijuana that are not being shown. I I don't agree with him. I think it's very much like the different liquor control boards in different provinces already advertise alcohol. I was reading some excerpts from the different websites and it's very vibrant, it's colorful, it's fun, it's often about you know, relaxing in the summer with your friends, crack open a cold one, make this new cocktail. I don't see how it's any different. How about you? one 1010 Is it labeling or promoting? Your texts and calls coming up next. Christy Cameron is in for Evan on the Evan Solomon Show. Welcome back to the Evan Solomon Show. Getting a lot of text messages after we spoke with that critic who doesn't like how marijuana is being 
promoted, he says, at the Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation. That's the entity that will be selling marijuana in Nova Scotia. And he says it's not okay because the way that they've broken them up into different sections, relax, unwind, enhance, center yourself. He says that glamorizes marijuana. I disagree. I think if you're going to make something legal, then you put signage up like that. And sure, you could interpret that as promotional or you could just interpret that as information, much like when you walk into the LCBO. It'll say something on a bottle of white wine. I'm talking about the LCBO, which is in Ontario, but in Nova Scotia, it would be the NSLC, the Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation. They have this too, where you'll pick up a bottle of white and it'll say, crisp and lively with hints of pear, best paired with seafood. I mean, that might sound promotional, sure, to some. Or you could say, well, actually, that's just information. It's telling me what I'm consuming. That's how I take what the Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation is doing. And even if it is promotional, don't we want people to buy it? Wasn't that the whole point of legalizing it? Or we're just going to legalize it and then take everything, hide it out of sight, make it really unpleasant to go into whatever establishments people are going to buy the marijuana from and hope that they don't do it. I mean, come on. What was, what was the point of legalizing it in the first place? That's just, that's just how I feel about that.